Have you ever wondered how barcodes and QR codes work? These ubiquitous symbols are an integral part of our daily lives, often going unnoticed as we pass through self-checkout lanes, scan tickets for travel, or interact with interactive advertisements. Barcodes and QR codes are the silent workhorses of our modern society, simplifying processes and streamlining operations in various sectors. At their core, these codes are a language, a language that machines understand. They communicate critical information in a compact, easily scannable form. Whether you're buying groceries, checking into a flight, or even engaging with novel marketing campaigns, you're likely interacting with barcodes or QR codes. Their omnipresence is no accident. These codes are marvels of technology, designed for efficiency and versatility. They've transformed the way we manage inventory, conduct transactions, and even how we share information. So the next time you scan a product or a ticket, remember, you're engaging with a piece of technology that's revolutionized our world. Stay tuned to uncover the fascinating world of barcodes and QR codes. Did you know barcodes have been around for nearly seven decades? Our story begins in 1952, when two inventors, Joseph Woodland and Bernard Silver, received a patent for a reading system they had developed. This was the birth of the first barcode. The system used ultraviolet ink, but it was expensive and not very durable. Fast forward to 1974, when the first Universal Product Code, or UPC, was scanned at a supermarket in Ohio. This barcode was used for a pack of Wrigley's chewing gum, marking a significant milestone in retail history. The UPC barcode, with its familiar black and white stripes, became a common sight on products worldwide. In the 80s, barcodes started to diversify. Simple, linear barcodes evolved into 2D barcodes, capable of storing more data. The PDF 417 barcode, introduced in 1991, could hold over a kilobyte of data, a big step up from the 20 digits of the UPC. The 90s also saw the advent of the QR code in Japan. This square-shaped barcode could hold even more information and was easily readable by the then-emerging camera phones. In the new millennium, barcodes became more than just a tool for inventory management and retail. They began to be used in marketing, ticketing, and even social media. The QR code, in particular, found an expanded role in our digital lives. Today, barcode technology continues to evolve. We have radio frequency identification or RFID tags that can be scanned from a distance. We have invisible barcodes that can be read using infrared technology. And we have digital watermarks that can be embedded into images and scanned with a smartphone. From a humble beginning in 1952 to an indispensable tool in our digital age, the barcode has indeed come a long way. It's a testament to the power of innovation and the relentless pursuit of efficiency. So that's how barcodes evolved over the years, but how do they actually work? Ever scanned a barcode and wondered what's happening behind the scenes? Well, it's time to unravel the mystery. Barcodes are not just random lines and spaces. They are a visual representation of data that can be read by a machine, specifically a barcode scanner. As the scanner moves across the barcode, it measures the relative width of the white spaces and black lines. Each of these measurements corresponds to a specific digit. Now, how does this translation from black and white lines to numbers occur? It's all about the pattern. In a typical barcode, the pattern of lines and spaces is divided into seven units. Each unit can be either a black line or a white space. The combination of these units corresponds to a number from zero to nine. This is how your scanner decodes the barcode into a set of numbers. But the magic doesn't stop there. Once the barcode scanner has read and decoded the barcode, the numbers are sent to a computer system. This system then matches the numbers to a database of products, pulling up all the relevant information like price, product name, and inventory count. There are different types of barcodes, each with its own application. The most common type you'll see in retail stores is the Universal Product Code, or UPC. It's a 12-digit number that uniquely identifies a product and its manufacturer. Then there's the code 128, often used in warehouses for inventory management. It can represent all 128 ACI characters, making it highly versatile. Barcodes have even made their way into our mail. The PostNet barcode is used by the Postal Service to sort mail. It's a numeric barcode that represents the zip code and delivery point, so the next time you scan a barcode, remember the intricate process that's happening in seconds. It's a dance of light and shadow, turning lines into numbers, and numbers into useful information. Barcodes revolutionized the retail industry, but another invention was about to take it a step further. 
enter the QR code, a new age symbol with limitless possibilities. This two-dimensional marvel burst onto the scene in the 90s, ushering in a new era in information sharing. Originally developed by a subsidiary of Toyota, Denso Wave, QR codes were designed to track vehicles during the manufacturing process, but it didn't take long for the world to realize the immense potential of this tiny square. QR codes, which stand for quick response codes, differ from traditional barcodes in a few significant ways. While barcodes are one-dimensional, storing data in a linear sequence of black and white bars, QR codes are two-dimensional, storing information both horizontally and vertically. This allows them to hold considerably more data than their barcode counterparts. In fact, a single QR code can store over 7,000 numeric characters or over 4,000 alphanumeric characters. That's a lot of information in a tiny square. But the real beauty of QR codes lies in their versatility. They're not just for tracking, inventory, or pricing anymore. Today you'll find QR codes everywhere. They're on concert tickets helping you breeze through the entry gate. They're on restaurant menus letting you peruse the offerings without touching a paper menu. They're even on tombstones linking mourners to a virtual memorial of the deceased. And their use is only expanding. From augmented reality experiences to mobile payments, QR codes are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. They've become an integral part of our digital lives, connecting the physical and virtual worlds in a way that's as simple as point and shoot. Over the years, the humble QR code has evolved from a simple tool for tracking car parts to a powerful symbol of the digital age. It's a testament to the power of innovation and the limitless potential of technology. QR codes opened up a world of possibilities, but how do they work? QR codes are everywhere today, but how do they function? Let's dive right in. Unlike the linear, one-dimensional barcodes we've discussed earlier, quick response or QR codes are two-dimensional. This means they can hold information both horizontally and vertically. This is why they can store significantly more data, about several thousand times more than a standard barcode. The QR code is made up of black squares arranged on a white background. The code essentially translates into binary language, which is a series of zeros and ones recognized by computers. The three larger squares found in the corners of the QR code allow the reader to recognize the orientation of the code so it can be scanned from any angle. Now, how do we read these codes? The answer is probably in your hand right now, a smartphone. Using the camera and a QR code reader app, your smartphone scans the QR code and interprets the binary data. This data can then be translated into a web link, text, image, or other forms of data. The versatility of QR codes has opened up a whole new realm of possibilities. They've become a key player in areas like advertising, where scanning a QR code on a poster can take you directly to a website or a promotional video. It's also used in ticketing for events and transportation, providing a quick and efficient way to verify tickets. In the world of retail, QR codes can provide detailed product information or even a way to make payments. And in our digital age, their use has expanded even further, from connecting us to social media accounts to downloading apps and even facilitating contactless deliveries during the pandemic. QR codes have truly revolutionized the way we access information, moving us away from manually inputting data to simply scanning a code. So that's how QR codes function transforming the way we interact with the world. From barcodes on your cereal box to QR codes on concert tickets, these codes have truly reshaped our world. Who would have thought that these seemingly simple lines and squares would be the driving force behind the smooth functioning of retail, inventory management, and even marketing? We've journeyed through the evolution of barcodes from their humble beginnings to their widespread adoption in various industries. We've understood how they work, transforming complex information into a language that machines can understand. Then we've delved into the world of QR codes, witnessing their advent and evolution. These two-dimensional codes have amplified the capabilities of their one-dimensional counterparts, enabling us to store and access more information than we ever thought possible. So, here we are living in a world where these codes have become an integral part of our daily lives. Next time you scan a barcode or a QR code, remember you're partaking in a technological revolution that's been decades in the making.